Okay, so I totally understand that this is not your kind of video. However, I needed to make another video this week and I needed to clean up my closet. So I thought, hey, why not do both at the same time? As anyone who knows me can tell you, one of my not so guilty pleasures is getting rid of stuff. I love going through my house every few months and just getting rid of the things that I don't use. It feels so cleansing to just purge and realize somebody else could use this more than I do and just getting it out of my house. I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist, but I would say that in a dream world that I would be. This is for Isaac's clothes. So the first thing we had to do was actually fold our laundry and get it all hung up. And yes, we do wash our clothes with Isaacs. We just use a gentle detergent. That... The first thing you'll probably notice about our closet is that it's large. I think it's actually 16 by 6 feet. I'm not saying it's one of the reasons we bought this house, but I'm not not saying that. With a closet this size, it's really easy to let things get out of hand. So we spread out and make messes in here all the time. You don't have shirts that fit. It's an issue. After everything was hung up, we just started going through and pulling things out to get rid of. Things that didn't fit anymore, things we don't like anymore, things that are just taking up space that we never even wear. Chase and I sometimes have problems getting rid of things for sentimental reasons. Like back when we first met, flannels were his favorite thing, and that's his last one and he's actually donating it this time around. Also, finally just taking out my maternity clothes, even though Isaac is almost five months old. I don't plan to get rid of them because we do want to have another kid, but they don't need to be hanging up, taking up space in the closet. For someone who lives in South Louisiana, I have an obscene amount of scarves. So I'm getting rid of the vast majority of them and splitting them onto these two hangers by season. I got these on Amazon a few years ago, but there's always something similar online. After getting rid of everything we didn't want, we went through and turned all our hangers around backwards. This way we'll keep track of what we actually wear, and as we wash and hang it back up, we'll hang it the right way. In six months or a year's time, we'll go back through the closet and see what hasn't been turned around, meaning we haven't worn it, so we can go through and get rid of more stuff.
for some reason I decided I wanted to go through and arrange my dresses by color. I'm not wearing them a lot right now because Isaac is nursing and dresses are not really conducive to that, but they'll be nice to look at when I'm in there getting ready. all my cardigans and jackets to the front of the closet. I don't really need them that often right now and so they're a little bit out of the way. Okay, I have to be totally honest. We did not finish this. The day we started it, hence the change of shirt. So this has become a two-day project. I'm going to show you the progress we've made, aka the mess we made, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this up myself while Chase is at work, and we'll get it done, and then it'll be done. It'll be great. Being a stay-at-home mom is real exciting all the time, no matter what they say. So yeah, I'm going to tackle the second half of this. Hopefully we can get it done. Okay, so all of the hangers are finally facing backwards on both sides of the closet. These are the ones Chase has already worn clean and hung up. Um, here, however, we have a pile of t-shirts that I don't normally wear, shoes to look at, bags, things we already said we were going to get rid of, and I still have all of these baskets to go through as well. My socks and leggings are another thing that don't get a lot of use in the Louisiana summer. So I'm getting rid of a bunch of them and just keeping my very favorites. Y'all, I'm straight up obsessed with this label maker. It always comes in handy for every organization project that I do. There are some old t-shirts I just can't bring myself to get rid of yet. Like I said, we're a little sentimental. I might get rid of them in the next clean out or I might do something more memorable with them, but for now they are out of the way. I have so many bags that aren't for daily use, so a little trick is to take the bigger pieces of luggage you have and store them in there, especially when they're totally empty. I have so many pairs of shoes. A lot of these were my mom's that became hand-me-downs. So I have this shoe rack for the ones that I plan to wear more often, and the rest will stay in this box so I can get to them when I need to.
we are totally done. Just a little moving stuff around and getting rid of a few things makes a big difference. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see something specific, leave it down in the comments. See you guys next time.